level very direct criticism to the U.S., something he rarely does. How concerned are you about our relationship with China? We should be concerned. We're in enormous competition with China. Um, national security, we, um, we had all the intelligence leaders before our committee this week. N national security is not simply about guns and ships and tanks anymore. It is about technology competition. It's about who's going to win this struggle around artificial intelligence, quantum computing, um, synthetic biology. It's one of the reasons why I put together a bipartisan piece of legislation, seven, seven Democrats, seven Republicans, the, the president supports, and I've got interest from the speaker, on making sure chi Chinese and other technology companies that pose national security risk, like TikTok, that we give the Secretary of Commerce the tools to either require a divestiture or, frankly, even ban them. Uh, we've seen, for example, TikTok already banned in India. We've seen the Canadian government, the EU, uh, urge taking that off uh, phones in their systems. Uh, we've got this technology competition with China, and they have been stealing our intellectual property at the rate of $500 billion a year. We yeah, have to be worried. China's a, a, a great country. Our beef is with the Communist Party. It's not with the Chinese people. But um, Xi Jinping, we should not underestimate both his aggressiveness and his authoritarian regime. And just very quickly, do you think TikTok should be banned? Absolutely. I, I you know, this is a literally 100 million Americans are on TikTok <laughs> an average of 90 minutes a day. Um, that data is residing in China, no matter what TikTok says. And the truth is TikTok can be used as a propaganda mechanism for the Communist Party of China. That, I believe, is a national security concern. But we don't, what we don't, what we need, though, is a rules-based approach that doesn't simply single out a single application because it was Huawei, the Chinese telecom company earlier, TikTok today. There will be other technology applications. We need a rules-based approach um, that will look at this foreign-based technology from China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, and say, okay, thanks, we've got to have the tools to make sure that, that, that we can take them down. Okay, thanks very much, Senator, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Let's bring in Republican Congress.